Hi Taurus, this is Lori coming to you from your Empress Energy. I hope you are all doing well. As you can see, my desk has been cleared. Um, I'm in Florida. We've had some severe thunderstorms that is causing flooding. And since the water is less than a tenth of a mile that way, yep, it came up into my yard. However, it did not come in my house yet. And I'm very, very grateful and thankful for that. But I am prepared to head out of the house with all of my important stuff, which are my decks and everything to do with my tarot business. So, new layout here, a little more open. Um, but I am going to go ahead and do pull two spirit animal cards to start the reading. I'll read what their intentions are at the end to see if it coincides with what the tarot reading is. And I'm going to use the Celtic Dragon tarot deck here but before I get started and I do have other decks for clarifying okay but before I get started I do want to remember to roll the zodiac die to see what energies might be in the room or who you might be dealing with okay and I better put my glasses back on okay we've got strong Aquarius we've got some Scorpio Libra Pisces it looks like possibly some Sagittarius and Capricorn okay all right, well, I've got the number die here. Let's go ahead and see what they come up with for you. On this one, we've got 5, 9, 6, 1, 10, and 2. And on this one, we've got 20 on top. We've got 8, 16, 6, 14, 4, 11, and 9. I do see the 3, okay? So you can add the 3 in there. Okay, let's go ahead and get your message started here. Right, did you guys like the last reading I did with the um, with the Celtic Dragon Tarot deck? I think the messages are fantastic. Yeah, I do want to apologize up front for my blue-ish fingernails. I'm not having a problem breathing. I had blue nail polish on. I have tried 10 times now to get this nail polish completely off and I cannot do it so it's going to have to be I'm just going to have to paint my nails over it and hope it comes off the next time I remove my nail polish um, so I do apologize for that I do not like to come on with my nails looking that bad um, not much I can do about it if I want to be on time with your readings though okay so Taurus please bear with me while I have the yucky fingernails they are my fingernails so it's not like I can go to a salon and get them fixed I could but I'm not going to but they are my own look at this they're blue tinged I was waiting for somebody at the grocery store to say are you okay honey are you breathing are you getting enough oxygen <laughs> I have never had a nail polish do that to me ever so anyways Let's see, we're starting your reading off here with the star. That's an awesome energy. That is feeling like a whole new um, sense of renewal, a new outlook on life. You've got hope about something, and hopefully we'll find out what that is, okay? So I'm not sure if these came out in reverse. I don't think so. But I'll do the reading and we'll see what comes up, okay? So we have the moon and the queen of cups that showed up here too. So, and this is a reading for my Taurus Collective. Which means that this is not a personal reading. So this, reach, this message reaches those it's meant to, okay? So if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry. It just means this particular message may not be for you. You can check your other um, birth signs, such as your rising ascendant sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign if you're interested in more of a um, relationship love aspect, okay? And all of those readings are here on this channel. I, and you may really want to pay attention to the moon um, your particular moon sign because it showed up here when I was speaking about that. So, oh, we got a bunch of cards here. I'm going to see how many there are first. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, we got one extra, so we'll take it. Okay. Oh, we got the Page of Wands. I hope we're on screen here. The Knight of Pentacles. We got the Two of Cups. Awesome. 
Four of Wands. That's Two of Cups and Four of Wands right after the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Swords. Oh my gosh. You're bookending with kings here. Okay, so there's a strong energy field here. Okay, this whole reading is being encapsulated by King Energy, which talks about control, self-control. Not over other people. You have it as a king over other people, but it's not lorded over them. A just king, okay, listens to his people. So listens to those around them. Also is very inspired, passionate, um, creative. So this is the king who, when two people come to him over a disagreement, he comes up with a creative way to get those two people to be friends again, okay? Okay. And this one listens. Obviously, you can't come up with that if you aren't listening. So I'm being led to tell you, my Taurus friends, to listen, okay? To really pay attention to what somebody is saying to you because it, it they will open up. They don't want to hide these things from you. Okay. You've got the two, you've got the star, the moon, the two of cups, and the Four of Wands. And if you know anything about tarot, then you know that these are um, three major arcanas. Okay, which means it's talking about major things in your life. Um, the kings are the and queens are and pages and knights are the people that you deal with in your everyday life. Okay, so you have somebody here. Hmm. That's your energy right now, Taurus, is the Knight of Pentacles. So you're feeling like you're in control of your finances. You're feeling like the world is okay. Um, you're not feeling like a king with your money, which would suggest you haven't hit that lottery yet that you've been wanting to win. Um, maybe coming in the near future with the two of cups and the four of wands, though. So don't get, don't quit playing yet. If you're playing that lotto, just keep going. Um, it looks pretty good for you on the bottom of the deck. Okay, maybe we had to leave gambling in the past. I don't know. You had to put something in the past. Yeah, that's keeping you uh, worried and inflamed. I'm hearing inflamed, infuriated about something. Yep, you're all tied up over whatever this is. And it's making you question what the heck is going on in your life. All you want is balance. Okay, now, here you are. This is more of what I expect to see from my Taurus, is the Queen of Pentacles, not this knight. Hmm. Five of Wands, bickering, learning. Well, it could be learning how to do something. Sparring. I'm hearing sparring matches. Verbal sparring matches. Knight of Wands. Okay. So the two knights that we have here, one is very stable and one is very passionate. Okay. Hmm. King and Queen of Wands, you may have a soulmate coming in if you're not in a relationship already. Yeah. There's the Fool and the Lovers. This is a... Almost a year away. There's going to be a major change in about a year. Hmm. Hmm. Right now, I'm seeing that you're feeling very harmonious, very balanced, um, that you want a soulmate of some sort. You are feeling renewed. You're feeling energetic. Um, you're feeling inspired. Oh, hello, bug. <laughs> it's Florida. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Um, Anyways, you are feeling inspired, okay? Some page, though, some child or a new beginning. I, I'm getting a major sense that these two cards are connected, these two people. This is people energy, okay? And what I'm feeling is blue, like... It's an energy, okay? 
peaceful, serene, balanced, enjoyable. These are all things I'm hearing. I just literally saw in my mind's eye this person, which is you right now. I'm getting this from you, Taurus, okay, as a child, and this is you as an adult right now. Okay, so you are feeling very passionate, inspired, intuitive. That's what the moon here is representing. And intuition, you're feeling very powerful in your element, okay? You're focused on yourself and work and fresh new start. You've been looking at where you've come from and where you want to go. This is what you're looking for, okay? You want that balance in a relationship. You want the happy, you want the happy home, happy life, you know? 2.2 .2 kids, a cat, a dog, you know, I'm hearing that ooby da, ooby day, whatever life goes on. That song makes you feel very happy. That song makes you want to be in the relationship that matches your energy. Okay, let's see if we can get any clarification here. Okay, I think this is a pretty straightforward message though, Taurus. I, I, I feel like you are in your energy here. Let's see what we, what is it? that my Taurus Collective may need to know. What is hidden from the Taurus Collective? The lovers. Oh my gosh. And the magician came out together. I am not kidding. You cannot make this up. You've got a soulmate coming. You absolutely have a soulmate on their way. You may have already met this person. If not, you are manifesting exactly the type of person that you want. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Strength. You're using all of your ability. You're, you're feeling strong, okay? <sighs> hmm. There you, there's the emperor right there, okay? Yeah, that's who I was hoping to see. That's what you're trying to call in, is that energy there, okay? And you're being strong because you're holding out. You, you're you resisting all these other invitations. Um, you, you're not keeping your, to yourself. You're dating. You're seeing people. But you are just not happy with what you're getting out of those relationships. Yeah. You are just not happy with that. This is what you do not see coming. Okay? That is beautiful. So hang in there, my Taurus friends. If you are looking for love, that is on its way. I am going to use the uh, Romance Angels and see if they have any messages for you, my Taurus friends. And by the way, when I just looked at the clock, it was 13.33. So that might be a number for you guys. Four and seven, which equals... 11 brand new starts reaching your goals the end of one thing the beginning of a new let me read you from my book oh maybe maybe i will read you from my book angel numbers what number 11 yep i got it right here give me just a second like i said i had to pack it all up okay so the angel number 11 says, the awakening, you are being called to attention. Your angels want to send you signs, but first they need to make sure that you'll be paying attention. This number asks you to notice the world around you so you don't miss the important messages coming your way. Ask your angels for confirmation after you see this number. Repetition is their way of getting your attention. And I just realized I never drew your animal your spirit animal cards okay so number 11 <laughs> i don't know <laughs> all right let's go ahead and see what we have here for romance angel 
messages for the Taurus Collective, okay? And the number 11 showed up in here, too. We got three sixes, which is another good number. Let go of control issues, okay? And I, 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 hmm, I'm not going to say anything about a Taurus having any issues with control. I'm an Aries. <laughs> it says, allow this situation to unfold naturally, okay? It will happen. It will happen in divine timing. It will happen when it's meant to happen. You are manifesting exactly what you want, and the angels are trying to tell tell you they hear you, okay? They know that you are manifesting this soulmate energy here, and they're on your side, and they're trying to put it all together for you, okay? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I do think that some of you have maybe done that in the past, that's I'm getting that from this right here, this connection right here. And it may not have gone quite the way that you were hoping in the past. However, your angels are trying to tell you if you feel strong enough to do that, you do not have to be in control of that situation. But if you feel like you want to, oh, no, nope, sorry, scratch that, Taurus. I'm hearing that that's your person. Your person is being encouraged to express their love to you. Okay, you just sit back and relax. You just keep thinking about that person using all the strength you have to not control the situation, but to give it up to your angels. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Okay, that's awesome because you guys have been doing that all along. You have been just giving it up to the universe. There is going to be major chemistry between you two. So I'm thinking some of you have already met this um, soulmate that you are manifesting. Okay, some of you are absolutely have met. It was either chemistry instantly or it came on after you started talking and within a very short time you both realized, oh my goodness, this may be my person. Okay, so there is a strong magnetic attention there. Let's see if there's any more messages from the romance angels for, for you guys, my Taurus. Let's see if there's any other messages here. One more. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? So I'm hearing that that's for your person, okay? That is for the person that you are trying to bring into your life. They've got um, to let some stuff go and work on opening up to you, okay? So hang in there, Taurus. I know it's taking all your, your strength, but you can do it. Any last message from the Romance Angels for the Taurus Collective? Do we have any last messages? Please. And thank you, of course. Whoa. I got two cards here and they really want to fall. It says, worth waiting for. Divine timing is a work in your love life. Did I not say that? I said... It would happen when it was supposed to. And unrequited love definitely speaks to me that you've already met this person. This may be somebody from um, your past, too. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I don't believe that. You may be thinking that, okay? You personally might be thinking um, that there's nothing to keep this relationship going. And that's where your strength is coming in, okay? Let's see what this says. The Romance Angels compassionately bring you this card as an answer to your relationship question. The person you're inquiring about has many qualities that you find attractive. However, there's not enough mutual attraction to create the passion you're seeking. This relationship is more like a cat and mouse chase, with one partner continually retreating and disappearing. Neither person enjoys this imbalance, and lack of chemistry is the reason. You may both share genuine love, which in itself can be a foundation for a long-term relationship. This card comes to you simply to help you understand the missing component, which you both can sense. Every relationship is a synergy of blended energies. You can't completely control the attraction factor, but you can override and steer it. Sometimes painful childhood experiences can draw you to unhealthy relationships as you recreate the original situation in an attempt to heal it. 
you can ask me, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. You can ask your angels for guidance to help you elevate your spiritual frequencies so that you attract a partner of a similar nature. To You deserve to be in a relationship of mutual appreciation and attraction. So it is worth your time and effort to manifest one with these qualities. Okay, that's the universe trying to say, we hear you. That's your angel saying, we do hear you. There is definitely chemistry here in this upcoming um, relationship. This is for some of you who are in a relationship that you are trying to get out of. And you don't, you don't hate that person, okay? You don't want ill for that person that you're with. You do love them. You just don't have everything that you need to make this relationship work. And that happens a lot. I, I could go on and on about that, but I'm not going to. Um, we each have to decide, okay, whether we're going to keep going with a relationship that does not fulfill us completely or whatever. So willpower, it's your decision. You're going to do what is right for you. But I do feel like this is where you may be at right now for some of you or the relationship you may have gotten out of. And you are manifesting the chemistry, the love, the balance, the passion with the communication, okay? The balance, <sighs> the hope, the dreams come true, okay? The light, the happy home, happy life, the whole kit and caboodle I'm hearing. You will get it, okay? Taurus, you just hang in there, my friends. You just hang in there. Okay, and I'm sorry I forgot to pull these before, but let's see if they resonate with it now. 12, Canary Spirit, sing your own song. I do know this is a beautiful message. This is, this is so awesome. Let's see what the other one is. And 55, Snake Spirit, time to heal. Okay, so we have that in there too. All right, um, let's see here. Where's my book? I want to point out this is card, this would be card 12, and it adds up to 3, and this is 55, which adds up to 10, which talks about completing things, okay? And then you get to start fresh and new. I actually want to read, see what card 55 is in the angel number. It says change. Things will look different. When you ask for what you want, your angels deliver, and, and that time is on its way. You are being told that your intentions are being taken seriously. Oh my gosh, does that fit with what I was telling you? Um, lie in meditation with your hands over your root chakra, which is at the base of your spine, and you can repeat this mantra, I am ready for what is next. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And card 12, the number 12 in angel messages, when you take the next step, you are not alone. Life has sent you your life has sent you new opportunities, and now is the time to embrace them with the faith that you will be supported. The things that come your way are for your highest good. Reflect on how you've been helped by unseen forces in your life. Sit in the profound realization of how support comes in so many way in so many forms. Oh my gosh, Taurus. I got chills. And that may be the title of this. I have got chills. I mean, this is beautiful. Oh. Okay. And if anyone has an itch on the inside of their left arm right now, or right arm, I don't care if you've got an itch on your arm at the elbow, the, the angels are telling you, please pay attention to what I'm about to read you, okay? So that was very specific for just a few of you. Okay, Canary Spirit says, sing your own song. Canary Spirit arrives to help you find your authentic voice and express what is in your heart. Free yourself to experience your inner light and let it shine. As Canary Spirit sings to remind you of your inherent joy and to support you as you sing your own song. Now is the time to let the world know who you really are. Canary Spirit's message is that you are free to be yourself and, ex and express your most cherished desires. 
The world wants to hear your song. If your inquiry is about a relationship, you, you are being called to fully be yourself. For only then will you find harmony and joy. You can make music with others so beautifully when your note rings true. Oh my gosh. It's more support. They're telling you more support. Okay. They've got your back. The angels are listening to you. The divine is working to bring you exactly what you want in your life. You just have to continue to trust in them. Okay. Have faith that they will, excuse me, they will deliver. All right. I'm going to read you the protection message. It says, are you suppressing your true voice? Perhaps trying to sing the song you think people want to hear instead of your own? You create a cage around your life when you express only what you think will help you to fit in and get what you think you want. Are you hiding the real you? Telling a safe story about yourself to others because you are afraid they will think you are too different if they knew the truth? Canary Spirit comes to help you express yourself in a more honest and authentic way. Sure, not everyone will agree with you. In fact, not everyone will want to hear your originality or accept your uniqueness. That's life. You must not give this a single thought. There will be plenty of people, opportunities, and wonderful new experiences that arrive as if by magic once you open up your own cage door and fly free. Canary Spirit is cheering for you and wants you to know you are safe and loved. Find your voice and have courage to spread your wings and sing out loud. The world needs your true song. That is beautiful. Taurus, I'm picturing a bull singing. <laughs> and Ferdinand, Fer Ferdinand, the bull that kids doesn't maybe it's a Disney movie just came to came to mind um maybe somebody needs to watch that to get a clue to a hint um reinforcement that you are being supported okay a synchronicity there will be some sort of synchronicity in there and is it possible that somebody's dating a guy named Fern or a if you're a male watching this, you're dating a woman named Fern or you just bought a Fern. Okay. Anyways, we'll go on to card 55. <laughs> I'm hearing uh, that's stretching it a little bit, but I, I do. I was told to bring those things up. So, you yeah, know, I'm only the messenger. Don't shoot me. Card 55, Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. All of us need healing at times, and when snake spirit appears, it is time to repair, renew, and replenish yourself and your vulnerable heart. Self-care and maintenance work are needed so that your vitality can arise. Give yourself the space to nourish your own well-being. Vulnerability is necessary for friendships and partnerships to work, which means all of us will have tender emotions at times. Be gentle with yourself and others right now. Shed the past and step into a new way of being for vitality is rising in you. I do want to point out that I said you will have to leave some things in the past. Okay. This might be a good time to honor the work you have done to heal, grow, and repair any damage that is within you, within those you care about, and within your community. Celebrate together how far all of you have come in your healing journey and all that you have created. Unburden yourself of anything that no longer supports wellness, prosperity, positive relationships, or well-being, and open the door for healing to occur. Yeah, I mean, yes, absolutely. And I kept envisioning this growth between the page and the queen, okay? Whether you're a male or female, that, that growth that was there and being bookended by the king energy here. Okay, your protection message from Snake Spirit says, no matter how much you may have lost or how you have been disappointed, you are called by Snake Spirit to shed the past and practice radical self-acceptance right now. Only by forgiving yourself can you move on regardless of whether anyone else is ready for healing. 
When your tender new skin first becomes exposed, you may feel uncomfortable. Love yourself and remain vulnerable anyway. You have been weak, but now you are becoming strong and developing wisdom and you will do better in the future. And that is every single human being. So do not take that personally, Taurus. We are all weak at times and have to develop strength and wisdom. Snake spirit reminds you that hearts can be so easily wounded. Apologies and amends go a long way. Self-forgiveness for your role and what happened can help you heal. Remember, it is the one who has been wounded who often has the greatest power to help heal others. Wow. I was kind of wondering where this message was going. Like, I didn't get that sense in this reading at all um, until almost that very last line. And I think that's what this whole um, protection message is about. You would know different, Taurus. If you, if you understood that, that's fine. But for me, trying to understand it, um, what I'm hearing is, is those who have gone through the situations where we're not happy, where we're not fulfilled, where we feel broken, where we feel like we were weak and we should have done better. Those are the people who do end up helping other people. Okay. And you are one of those people. Okay. My Taurus friends, that was an awesome message. I think, let me know what you think. If I didn't say it earlier, um, if you are new to this channel, Welcome, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here and coming back. And I just want to say how grateful I am for each and every one of you for being here. My channel is growing and it's because of people like you. So I hope you continue to support my channel. Go ahead and give the video a like if it resonated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, also, click the notification bell and check out the description box, okay? Because there's a lot of information in the description box below every single video. All right, if you're new here, I'm going to roll this die, which has 26 letters and a couple of wilds on it, five times, okay? And you can use this any way that you choose to. It may spell um, a word outright that mean, has meaning for you. It might be initials. Um, of a place you've been, your person's initials, whatever. Use it however you want. And if you choose not to use it, that's okay too, because we all have free will, including with any tarot reading. So if this did not resonate with you, leave it for whoever it did. All right, roll one is a J. If you want to do a screenshot, okay, or write the letters down quickly, you can always rewind. Roll two is an F. Roll three is a C on top. Four is an M. And five is a wild on top. Also, if um, you guys did not Realize I am giving away a free reading each week for people who follow the information in the um, description box below. All you have to do is like a video, subscribe to the channel, and then in the comments, drop the words free reading. Okay, and there are ways to get bonus entries. So check that out in the description box below. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness, my Taurus friends. Bye-bye.